Brian, thank you. Wildfires have devastated the Texas Panhandle on more than one occasion. Last year was especially rough, and right now firefighters all across the area are preparing to go up against them one more time. Tonight, Pro News 7's Kendall Lee Bates brings you part one of a special report about what Potter County crews learned last year and how it helped them prepare for the possibilities this season. We've all seen the pictures of thousands of acres of land that were scorched by last year's wildfires. There's a point that it becomes historical. I've been in the business for over 25 years on this department. I'd never seen the destruction and devastation that we had last year. It didn't compare. It was the worst we'd ever seen probably in this state. More than 37,000 acres of land, 50 homes, and countless buildings were destroyed in Potter County alone. One fire even snuck into the city limits and wiped out yet another home. We lost major uh, residential areas. We lost major farmland areas. We suffered the loss of a firefighter last year. We have suffered loss, I think, on a major scale that nobody really can be ready for. Firefighters from all over the panhandle spent day after day battling the blazes, and many of them did it without pay. For the volunteers, it was another responsibility on top of a full-time job and family. Willow Creek went out. Mm -hmm. I was there for the whole thing. Um, I went home and slept for a couple hours and then come back. But we were there almost the whole time. Lake says nothing can fully prepare firefighters for the dangers they face, and they're taught to expect the unexpected. That's exactly what some of them got when they came face to face with the wildfires across the plains. There's a point that you just have to lay down and, and take a quick nap or get away from it for a, a few hours and then come back. Uh, you can't continue pushing through it and run the risk of hurting yourself or hurting whoever's on the truck with you. Though it was devastating for some, the men and women saw those wildfires as learning experiences that trained them to be more prepared the next time around. Devastating. Just, it was something that I haven't really been up against, you know, a lot. It was a hard experience, but I got in there and I did the best that I could. And preparation doesn't just need to come from firefighters. Awareness in every Panhandle community can help reduce the risk of more fires. And for the ones that do spark, that awareness can help firefighters do their job more quickly and safely. What people don't understand is, you know, Tuesday afternoon we're already forecasted to be at an elevated fire danger. So I think it's an understanding that even though there is a lot of rain, even though there is a lot of moisture, there's still a lot of dry fuel. Kendall Lee Bates, Pro News 7. Ironically tonight, the first major Texas wildfire of the season is threatening a rustic development of cabins in the Davis Mountains of West Texas, a development hit hard by a wildfire last spring. In part two of this special report tomorrow on Pro News 7 at 10, we'll hear from another fire department about ways the community can prepare for fires and prevent them.